So the problem says that we are given a matrix A of size n cross m and let's say every element in this matrix is denoted by aij. Then we are supposed to find out another matrix B of size n into m such that bij is a multiple of aij and the absolute difference between any adjacent elements in this new matrix is of the form k to the power 4 for some k. This k can be different for every pair. So we have this original matrix A and this is to be converted into a new matrix B such that Bij is a multiple of Aij and the absolute difference between every adjacent element is of the form k to the power 4 and this k can be different for every pair. Now let's take an example. So let's say we had 3, 11, 12 and 8 in the matrix and this was converted to 327, 583, 408 and 664. Now if we see 327 is a multiple of 3. 583 is a multiple of 11, 664 is a multiple of 8 and 408 is a multiple of 12. And if we look at the differences, this difference is actually equal to 256 which is 4 times 4. Then this difference is equal to 81 which is 3 times 4. And again this difference is equal to 256 which is 4 times 4. And again this difference is equal to 81 which is 3 times 4. Now let's look at the constraints. So this AIJ is given that it is of the range of 1 to 16. And this bij is supposed to be in the range of 1 to 10 to the power 6. So the very first thing that we get in this problem is that aij is very small. Now since aij is very small and bij is supposed to be a multiple of aij, let's try to find out the LCM of all the numbers from 1 to 16. So in order to find the LCM, for 2 it will be 2, then for 3 we will multiply it by 3, then for 4 it will be 2 square. Then for 5 it will be into 5, then for 6 it will be 3 into 2 which is already there, then for 7 we will multiply it by 7, then for 8 it will be 2 cube, then for 9 it will be 3 square, then for 10 it will be 2 into 5, then for 11 we will multiply it by 11, then for 12 we will have 6 into 2 which is 2 into 2 into 3, then for 13 we will multiply it by 13, and then for 14 we have 2 into 7, and then for 15 we have 5 into 3, and then for 16 this should be 2 times 4. Now this comes out to be 720, 720 and if we actually see this is less than 10 to the power 6 therefore we can use this number. Now let's say that we fill this complete array with this number. Now since this number is actually the LCM of all the numbers from 1 to 16 we can easily say that this is a multiple of every aij. But what about the absolute difference of the adjacent elements? The absolute difference of the adjacent elements now becomes 0 which is actually 0 times 4 but since we are given that ki should be greater than 1 therefore we cannot use this number to fill the complete array but what we can do is we can actually use this number to fill every alternating term therefore we'll actually replace this value this value and this value and fill it with 720720 then again 720720 and this value will also become 720720 now what about the rest of the values so let's again go back to aij now we know that the maximum value of aij will be 16. So let's try to find out what is 16 times 4. So 16 to the power 4 is actually 6 double 5 3 6 which is again less than 10 to the power 6. And the sum of 7 double 5 3 6 with 7 to 0 7 to 0 is actually 7 8 6 2 5 6. So we have 7 8 6 2 5 6 which is again less than 10 to the power 6 therefore we can use this number as well. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to change b12 to 720 720 plus a12 times 4. Now we know that this value is less than 10 to the power 6 and we also know that this value is actually a multiple of a12 already and the difference between the adjacent values now becomes a12 times 4 which is of the form k to the power 4. Therefore, we can use this number. Similarly, we'll change b212, 720, 720 plus a21 times 4 and b232, 720, 720 plus a23 times 4. Now, as we can see, every element in this array is less than 10 to the power 6 and the absolute difference between every pair is of the form k to the power 4. Therefore, this is the complete solution. So this is the code, I'll have the link to my submission in the description below. If you still have any doubts in the problem, feel free to reach out to me and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of such editorial videos.